right, now my famous cream, buttercream pepper gravy. In this skillet, we got two small cloves and butter, frying kind of like we did with the country fried steak, but not as dark. You just want to cook them until they smash real easy with a fork. Then you just smash them up. You tell them about that garlic and the taters. Oh yeah. Oh we yeah. We didn't do it quite like that in the Navy. That was no army trick I learned in the Navy. But it's a little bit different from the way she knows about it. This is just three tablespoons of that flour that I cooked the steak in. It's just got pepper and salt in it. And this is about three tablespoons of grease. Or butter. And I don't cook this long. I put it on medium heat and I cook it for about three minutes and I just stir it with a whisk so it don't clump up and I just stand here and stir it for three minutes. And to the flour we got frying in the butter, we add thyme, I didn't and I put about a pinch of thyme, rub thyme, okay. about a pinch of oregano leaves, and a pit of ground pepper flakes and that you really want just a pinch it'll get hot you need to, uh, now at this point you add your cream slowly drizzle it in you can turn it up at this point so it'll cook faster, get hot faster, you know. And you just drizzle it in until all your milk's gone. And then cook it until it's as thick as you want it. And that is my famous butter cream pepper gravy. Okay, here's the finished product. This is the potatoes with roasted garlic with gravy corn with roasted garlic and of course the country fried steak with roasted garlic and gravy. Enjoy!